Once you start down the path of hardware modding, you quickly come to terms with a simple truth. Nothing comes out of the box in an ideal state. Even the highest end product can be tweaked to run faster or quieter or, assuming it's already perfect in those regards, at least look better. Not to mention the appeal of making every component you own fit your personal preferences, whatever those might be. After all, if you work at your computer, like I do, you probably interact with it more than you do your family or friends. So what's a few hour investment in some modding? In this sponsored video from iFixit, we'll be showing you guys how to transform a simple three monitor array from boring to beautiful by debezeling each monitor, then remounting it in a custom housing. For this project, we wanted to remove the LCD panels from these three monitors and remount them in this handmade wooden housing. But Linus, you might ask, why bother with that? There are cheap stands on Amazon that you could use to achieve the same objective and without voiding your warranties. So our first step is to safely get the LCDs out of their plastic casings and to aid in our disassembly efforts, we'll be using the ProTech Toolkit to void our warranties in the smoothest and most professional way possible. And while I might feel confident in my ability to pull off this mod by just freeballing it, I'm trying to cut down on the frequency with which I am brought low by my own hubris. So I'll be referring to this iFixit community guide for step-by-step -step instructions. Step one. Unscrew and remove the stand attached to the back of the monitor. Okay, that I could have figured out on my own. Step two, lay the monitor flat and begin to loosen the bezels. The display bezel is held to the rear of the case by a few plastic clips that should come free relatively easily. You'll want to use a light, gentle touch and avoid prying with any tools in order to avoid damaging the LCD. This is good advice for modders and proctologists. Though the similarities end at step three. Grip the edges of the bezel in the center of each side and gently pull directly upwards. You should hear a slight pop as the clips come free. If you hear a snap or a crunch, it's likely you've damaged your screen. So to avoid confusion from ambient noise, it's best not to perform this step as part of a balanced breakfast. Moving on, the corners are held on a little tighter. So to get them started, you'll need to insert a jimmy into the lower left corner and pop the first clip. The reason we use this point on the casing is that on this particular model, the HDMI logo gives us a good reference point for where to find the clip behind the bezel. Though if you're exceptionally keen on squeezing every possible ounce of excitement out of your day, feel free to pick any other corner and just fiddle about blindly. After that, the other corners should simply come off with some gentle twisting, but if any prove especially stubborn, don't hesitate to slip them a quick jimmy. Now that we've removed the LCDs from their housings, we can set them aside and work on our custom frame. We assembled this by building two boxes out of two by fours, one to hold two horizontal monitors and one to hold a single vertical unit. Then we attach them at a slight angle. We just used a chop saw to cut to the right length and to get the angles on our joint pieces. Once the LCDs are affixed inside, we'll attach some decorative boarding to make it look classy. Wood paneling, kids. It's not just for vans anymore. So to make these, we just measured from the edge of the frame to the edge of the screen and then cut strips out of a sheet of balsa and stained them. It's time then for final assembly. We're going to use these existing holes that happen to be on the sides of our monitors to mount brackets, which will then be screwed into our main assembly. Note that if you don't use correctly sized screws when doing any custom mounting with a debezeled monitor, it is very easy to inadvertently damage the screen. Then with each LCD firmly in place, we lift the control panels from the backing and thankfully the pre-attached wires are long enough, we reattach them onto the face of our frame. We want the controls to match our aesthetic, so we're gonna mount them behind a panel between the LCDs and drill a series of holes over each button. Then we 3D print some button extensions, paint them a brownish hue and insert them through the holes. And there you have it. 
Whether your goal in removing your monitor's bezel is to decrease the overall space between your displays in a multi-monitor gaming setup, or if your final product is something more esoteric, the guides and tools from iFixit can help you minimize the risk involved in modifying your hardware. So a shout out to ASUS for providing the monitors for our Frankenstein project, and iFixit again for sponsoring this video. If you're planning any upgrades, DIY projects, or fixes, be sure to check out their awesome guides and tools over at ifixit.com slash Linus, and use offer code SANDALS to save $5 on any purchase of $10 or more. And especially a third and final shout out to all the contributors who make their amazing community guides. iFixit refers to their community guides as the Wikipedia of repairs, because like Wikipedia, the content is open for anyone to add to or edit. Also like Wikipedia, all submissions are carefully reviewed by a cabal of super editors to ensure that they align with the site's agenda. Of course, at the iFixit community site, that agenda is bringing quality hardware guides to you and nothing to do with closeted political bias masquerading as neutrality. Wow, that's a strong, uh, strong statement from our writer. I didn't write this one today, folks. Anyway, thanks for watching. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one in our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next, so click that little button in the top right corner to check out our latest video over on Channel Super Fun. Jeez, shots fired, man.